okay? So, so one thing that we can take from this is that signs are to go hand in hand with the proclamation of the kingdom. Healing is to go hand in hand. Deliverance, they're to go hand in hand with our uh, witness of the proclamation of the kingdom. So that is, that is a necessary function of the church. And moving forward, which is really what I wanted to skip over the Ananias and Sapphira part two, in Acts chapter five, this is what we see. So the communities together, and in verse 12 it says, now many signs and wonders were regularly done among the people by the hands of the apostles. And they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared join them, but the people held them in high esteem. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets, laid them on cots and mats, that Peter came and at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed, all of them. All of them. So this is, this is pretty, pretty wild. Just his shadow can, can heal somebody, okay? But what I'm, what I'm seeing in this is that it's not just the apostles who are at work. It's the whole body that are gathering the sick. They're going to people around. They're saying, hey, we heard of your illness. By the way, like, we have a solution. We have healing. And then what's awesome is multitudes begin to come to the Lord. And like, isn't that how our witness should be? Where like, if we want to see multitudes come into the kingdom, there's got to be a partnering of healing, signs, and wonders. And I love um, uh, Christian healing ministries, healing prayer levels, because you get a lot of early church history in them. And uh, Francis McNutt, he talks about how the early church operated. And, you know, in his research of the early church, even beyond the Acts church, he talks about how that basically their key to evangelism was healing. Like that was how they did it. Even beyond the book of Acts, it's like when they would do a ministry, a ministry time, it would be for the purpose of healing, restoration. They would see the signs and wonders. They would preach Jesus, crucified, resurrection, resurrected, and then multitudes would come in. And that's how the early church grew. And it really wasn't until Constantine set up the early church in, in, or set up the church in Rome that you started relegating all of the signs and wonders kind of to the, the back of the scene of Christianity, and you started putting a lot of the authority in just the hands of the priests and those who were up front leading services and that kind of thing. Until then, it was the whole body. Until then, it was the whole church moving in signs and wonders, every person. And if they weren't laying on their hands and healing, they were getting them on cots, and they were bringing them to the apostles to lay on hands. It was the whole com community doing it. And then as, the si as signs were happening, it's exploding. But I don't want like, to get, get lost in just talking about the early church because God is doing a new movement right now. Gosh, like I think about um, get, going down to the voice of the apostles and just seeing um, some of the most profound healings happening right before my eyes. George and Banoff just up on his violin playing and people coming out of wheelchairs, you know, right before my eyes. And uh, that's, that's pretty much, there's a, there's a new movement right now. Um, the Holy Spirit is, is just stirring in the church. And there's, there's a movement back toward the miraculous release of healing as a, as a sign and a confirmation of the gospel. And man, it is like, I know it's, it's, I know it's my calling to, to talk about this, but not to talk about it to, per, to perform it. Like I know it's my calling to be um, used by God to heal. And so I'm really passionate about this. Um, and so I want to share a, a couple testimonies with you guys. So the other night, um, Melissa had a, a stomach ache, really bad stomach ache. She was just like, babe, I'm in a lot of pain. And at first I was like, oh, babe, like, let's, you know, I'm thinking like Advil. I'm thinking like, you know, how do we get you to feel better? You know, because that's what you do as a husband. You think of like the solution, you know. I'm learning that. I'm new, new to this whole thing. But then I stopped. Then I stopped and I had compassion on her. And it's hard for me to do that because I'm thinking solution. But well, the first thing the Lord was looking for is, do you have compassion on your wife? And I was like... Lord, like, man, I feel really bad that she's feeling bad. And he goes, now pray. 
And I put my hand on her stomach and I said, in the name of Jesus, be healed. And she goes, babe, whoa. Whoa. I don't have any pain anymore. And it was like that easy. How awesome is that? Like it really is that easy.